Hey everybody, Mike here. In today's video, we're gonna answer a question which a lot of people have been asking lately, which is, is the VCTA, also known as the VMware Certified Technical Associate, is that certification even worth it for me? So first, we're gonna start with talking about what the VCTA is, and then we'll actually get into answering that question. Now, jumping right into it, what is the VCTA? Now, I could spout off a bunch of stuff that may or may not be right, or I could just go to the best source for super accurate information, which is, of course, google.com. So let's do that. So in this case, I just Googled VMware VCTA-NV. Now, there are multiple tracks of the VCTA. There is DCV, which is Data Center Virtualization. There is also Cloud Management, which is about VROPS, VRA. There's some other stuff there, too. And then there's also Network Virtualization, which I'm talking about right now. That is mostly focused around NSX, but again, your track will depend on whatever you're interested in or whatever is relevant for you. I'm really focusing on the NV for this video, but everything here really for the most part will apply to other tracks as well. So let's go ahead and click on this first link and head over to VMware.com. All right, so I could tell you what this cert is, but I really like their explanation here. So it says the VCTA NV certification holder is able to identify use cases and business needs for VMware NSX platform. So why would I need NSX? Where does it fit in? Next, it says you can understand or you'll be able to understand NSX terminology. Whoa, wait a minute. You're gonna tell me that this cert, after I you know, pass it, hopefully, I'm gonna know NSX terminology? Well, let me tell you, that is the most complicated or confusing thing when you're first getting into NSX, is just figuring out all of the freaking terminology. So yeah, that's awesome. Um, it says also you're gonna be able to perform navigation of NSX graphical user interface. Now, I will tell you right now, it's not gonna teach you to navigate or you're not gonna to need to learn to navigate everything in NSX. You're not gonna to need to know how to set it up. It's more about taking an existing installation, looking at a couple of basic screens and being able to interpret those. Now, let's say that you're sold on it. You're like, I, Mike, I want the VCTA NV, so where do I go from there? Well, in this case, we can scroll down. It says here the certification, certification path if you are new to VMware certifications. It's recommended that you take one of the training courses. Don't do that. They're really expensive. I, don't get me wrong, I love VMware training courses, but these are really expensive for a very entry level cert. That's my opinion. Now, in this case, what I would recommend, so you have some options here. If you do wanna take a course, the Customer Connect Learning Premium subscription is not a bad deal. So it's 12 months, I think it's $269 in the US, and that gives you access to a bunch of different you know, e-learning courses, self-paced stuff. Um, that said, I'm gonna show you within the blueprint where you can find all of the resources you need for free. So we'll table this. So let's say you're not going to do one of the actual formal classes, at least not yet, maybe when you're going for your VCP. Next, we're gonna look at the actual required section, which is, well, passing the test. Now in this case, we can see it's a 90 minute test. You are allowed breaks, but let's be honest, if you need a break for a 30 question and exam, you probably want to reevaluate your career decisions. In this case, the test is $125. We're good with that. So we go ahead and click on the exam to get more information. Now, once we're here, we're gonna scroll down to exam preparation guide. This is essentially the blueprint for this exam. So I'm gonna click on that and we'll download that PDF that goes with it. All right, so I'm gonna expand this a bit. Now, if we go down here, this is really important. If you wanna take any VMware certs, you need this PDF for whatever cert you're looking at. In this case, it shows us all of the sections on the exam. And I want to point out something very specific. Now, first, we have section one, uh, architecture and technologies, section two, VMware products and solutions. And then look at this, section three through six, they all say no testable objectives for this section. Why are these on the blueprint? We can just forget that these exist. So really what we need to know is section one, two, and seven. They kind of sneak seven in there at the bottom, which is administrative and operational tasks. So for summing up what you need to know for this test, you need to know the basic concepts of software defined data center. You need to be able to identify use cases for NSX. You need to identify vSphere networking concepts, distributed switch, standard switch, that kind of thing. You need to be able to identify the components of vSphere. So vSphere, the host, data stores, those kind of things, um, as well as the key features of vSphere, things like HA, DRS, EVC, vMotion, those are all kind of things that would fall under that category. And then you also need to be able to give essentially a use case or be able to identify a use case for NSX. So I want to segment traffic from VM to VM. What could I use? 
Well, that's the NSX distributed firewall, for example. Moving down, section seven, like I said, they kind of snuck this one in here. This says, given a scenario including a goal, identify how to use the NSX graphical user interface to achieve that goal. Now this cert does not require you to do any kind of like real heavy configuration or anything like that. It's really about looking at the GUI and being able, being able to interpret that data in some kind of meaningful way. So if you're not an engineer, don't let that scare you. It's not super duper technical. All right, so all of that aside, is this cert worth it? Should I take it? If you are a non-technical person and you're trying to get it just to be a little bit more sharp with the jargon and the terminology and that sort of thing, yes, absolutely. This is an amazing exam and it will set you apart from your peers. I guarantee it, it really will. Now, if you're an engineer, it's a little bit more murky. If you are brand new to NSX, you have no idea, you know, you barely know what NSX is, you could spell it and that's about it, then this is a great cert to start with. It will get you the foundation, you'll kind of understand, you know, it'll be a gentle introduction into the technology. I highly recommend that. Now, if however, you've been using NSX a little bit or you started already watching some of my other videos, that sort of thing, then honestly, the VCTA might be a little bit too basic for you. You might want to go look at the VCP right away. Now, keep in mind, it does require a, an actual in-person class or a live online class or something like that. There, are, there is a requirement for an actual class. So keep that in mind for the VCP. Now that said, I do really like this exam. It was actually one of the better exams I've taken in a while. I thought it was very fair. I didn't think it was really kind of full of trick questions or anything like that. And honestly, I'm planning on now doing the VCTA for the other tracks, in this case, cloud management next. So I really think a lot of this exam, hopefully you check it out. That said, I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, do me a favor and go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to bump up those numbers, so anything you can do there would help. I guess share, share my videos, share it. Share with a friend. Sharing is caring. Stay safe and healthy. Mike out.